my name is Carol and this is my patient Courtney. I'm her physical therapist today and today we're performing the Astrin submaximal bike cycling test. Uh, so this is going to give us a good indicator of where her VO2 max actually is uh, by getting her into her submaximal range for her heart rate, keeping that constant over a period of time, and then kind of comparing that and extrapolating it to what it's going to be uh, maximally. Um, so to begin with, she's just doing a warm-up right now. She's at 25 watts. Normally we would do zero watts on the machine, but unfortunately this is as low as it goes. But while she's warming up for a couple minutes, I will talk a little bit more about her patient background. Uh, Courtney is a low risk on the cardiovascular risk stratification from the AS ACSM guidelines. Uh, this is due to no experience with hypertension, different, any family history. Uh, she regularly exercises as a female in her 20s. Um, so with all this information, we can assume she is in the low risk category, which means that this is an appropriate test. She's not at any particular risk, but we will be monitoring her as she goes. Uh, so we have a few more minutes. A couple other things is that to get her situated on this bike, we did measure the seat to her greater trochanter to line it up with the ground. We want her to maintain a five degree uh, flexion in the knee throughout her entire cycling uh, cycle. All right, so we're about to hit these two minutes. Uh, now the goal here is after these two minutes is we are going to, oh, I do have her, her resting vitals were, <laughs> her heart rate to start was 68 with a um, blood pressure of 100 over 60. Um, so after this warm up, we're gonna go ahead and take those stats again and see what she's feeling with the uh, rate of perceived exertion. Um, Courtney, how are you feeling right now? Um, I'm feeling like seven. Okay, seven. Yeah. All right. So I'll go ahead and take your stats now that you're out of your warm-up period, and then we're going to uh, begin that test. So I'm going to start by taking your pulse, your radial pulse. All right, I took the pulse for 20 seconds, and I'm going to multiply that by three. Um, and it looks like she is around 72 for her beats per minute. And now I am going to take her blood pressure. So go ahead and take your arm and put it on my shoulder here and relax it there. Go ahead and relax into that. Um, so it doesn't look like her blood pressure has changed uh, very much since before the workout, uh, since before the warm up. So we're now going to put her into the first level to get her into that submaximal heart range. So we're going to put her up to 100 watts of power, and she's going to maintain that 50 revolutions per minute that she had during her warm up phase. So here we're going to allow her to continue for two minutes at this rate. And our hope is that she's going to be within her range for her scores. Now, given her age is 23, we're looking for uh, a heart rate max of between 60 and 85%, which is calculated out to be about 113 to 160. So we're hoping to get her nice and in that range. And then when we take her next scores, they should be relatively similar to the first. How are you feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's an exciting day to be live for sure. It really is. <laughs> it's a great day to be cycling. <laughs> it's a beautiful day. <laughs> Whew, feel that resistance though. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's really interesting. <laughs> All right, in just ten more seconds, I'm gonna go ahead and check her heart rate and blood pressure one more time. All right, it's about time. I'm gonna go ahead and do your heart rate first. So go ahead and give me that radial pulse again and go ahead and just relax, continue with that 50 RPMs. You're doing great. Okay, 
Okay, so I went ahead and took it for 20 seconds, and I'm going to multiply that by 3 to get her new score. Um, so it looks like she's at about 128 with her heart rate. So this is well within her submax range. I'm now going to go ahead and take that blood pressure to make sure that there's no anomalies and it's increased with her exercise. Go ahead and take this arm, put it on my shoulder, and relax. You're doing great. Okay, and go ahead and relax back on the bike. What is your um, RPE right now? I would say I'm at about a 10, 11. Okay, 10 or 11. Okay, and it looks like she has about 130 over 70 for her blood pressure, which again is well within the range that we would expect. So now I want you to just stay constant with what you're doing. We're going to go ahead and take those measurements again in about a minute. Now, whilst we said that this test is appropriate and she is a healthy individual as expected from the risk stratification, um, something that we might want to look out for when we're actually looking at her VO2 max is because she is a trained individual, this could potentially um, over-exaggerate her level of fitness for VO2 max. Uh, of course, Courtney is an Olympian athlete, we do know that, but uh, you never know <laughs> what the scores are going to show. <laughs> Mystery. <laughs> yeah. I just want to say you look great while you're doing it. Oh, yeah. You a 10 Thanks. out of 10. <laughs> Alright, just a few more seconds. Alright, let's go ahead and start with that heart rate again. So try to maintain that constant RPM while I take this. All right, I'm going to take that value and multiply it by 3. Courtney is within 4 beats per minute from her last, so that is a consistent submaximal test. I'm going to go ahead and take that blood pressure and see where we're at there. If you could just rest your arm on my shoulder one more time. Last time. So for those, I got 134, or about 72. Um, so again, you've now reached your submax and stayed within your submax range, which means we cannot say that the test is complete. Now all we have to do is we're going to let you cool down for about two to three minutes, if not more. So I'm going to go ahead and lower the resistance back down to our starting for our warm-up. Now following this test, as Courtney, sorry, as Courtney cools down afterwards, I am going to monitor uh, all of her vital signs to make sure that she's going back to a normal range. We should expect about the same as our starting values with the warm-up, but perhaps a little bit higher after the exertion. One last thing, how did you feel at the last part of the test, that RPE? Um, I felt like I was at about an 11 around there. Okay, so that is consistent. Um, so now with these values, we should be able to get a good idea of Courtney's Olympic status VO2 max. <laughs> All right, thank you for watching our Max test.